Virginia, allegedly carried out by a six-year-old student. Police say the gun used to shoot a teacher was legally owned by the child's mother. CBS News correspondent Chris Van Klee joins us now from Newport News to talk more about this investigation. So, Chris, uh, what are investigators saying about the teacher's actions in the aftermath of the shooting? And just remind our viewers exactly what happened, because we really didn't say that at the top. Sure. So this was last Friday, a first grade class. Uh, the teacher, 25-year-old Abigail Warner, was in the middle of giving a lesson. Um, one of the students pointed a gun at her and pulled the trigger, fired one shot. Uh, the teacher, we understand from police, uh, put up her hand to try to defend herself. The bullet hit her hand, went through her hand and into her upper chest. Even after she was wounded, she evacuated the class. In fact, that was one of the things that the, the local police chief here praised her for, called her a hero. She evacuated the other students. She's seen on security camera, the chief says, walking down the hallway, making sure she was the last one out of the classroom. And as she's walking down the hallway, wounded, she turns around and goes back to make sure everybody, all of the kids were out of the class. She then went to the office where she sought aid and collapsed. A paramedics uh, rushed to the scene here. She at last report was in stable condition in, a, in an area hospital. Uh, another school employee um, restrained the six-year-old student um, it's unclear if that employee disarmed the student or if the student dropped the gun. Uh, that's one of the things that, that remains uh, under investigation here. But when police enter the building, uh, another school employee was restraining this six-year-old who was resisting, uh, the police say, that school employee. Um, the student, the six-year-old, we understand, according to police, is at a medical facility here in the Newport News area undergoing evaluation and treatment. Ultimately, it will be up to a judge to determine what happens next uh, with the six-year-old. He's under an emergency uh, medical hold, basically, for about 96 hours. So, as I understand it, Chris, and maybe you know you can clarify, there's sort of no place to put a six-year-old. He's just entirely too young. There isn't sort of six-year-old detainment, if you will. We, we were speaking to some experts about this yesterday. Uh, the Commonwealth of Virginia says you can't uh, you know, lock someone up under the age of 11. So they can't, it's not that there's not a, a jail, there's not a juvenile detention facility, there's just not an environment set up to essentially incarcerate a six-year-old uh, in Virginia. He Could he be criminally charged? Yes. Uh, one of the, the experts we talked to said you're still going to run into real issues in court uh, because, you know, it's unclear um, what the six-year-old understood about his actions beyond uh, the decision to shoot the teacher. We understand from, we, here's what we do know. We know that uh, police believe um, the six-year-old boy got the gun from his home. The gun was legally purchased by his mother. We don't know what efforts were made to secure that gun, but apparently, allegedly, the kid got the gun the morning up, put it in his backpack, brought it to school, and then pulled it out during the lesson, pointed it at his teacher, and fired, police say. It's just, the details are so surreal. It's hard to believe that this is a real, you know, this is a, a real life story. Um, Chris Van Cleef, thank you very much. I do realize that the gun laws in the United States have been really relaxed to where anybody can carry a gun and have a license to carry. But you parents need to make sure that your firearms are under lock and key because this makes no sense that a six-year-old boy takes a gun to school and shoots his teacher. And another thing, you parents might need to start checking your children's backpack when they leave to go to school and when they come home from school. Because your child may be a great child, but he's also or she is also going to school, intermingling with a six-year-old who's carrying a gun to school, shooting a teacher. So it might be a good idea that you parents step up your game and do a little bit more investigating with your children because your children are out of control in the United States. Here goes the rest of the story. Welcome to Straddled Events. On this channel, we bring you the truth. Sometimes the truth is quite ugly, unbearable, and you just don't want to deal with it. 
but on this channel you're gonna get it anyway you are straddled the fence of good versus evil right versus wrong and on this channel we're gonna tell you to do better please like dislike subscribe and share the videos now let's go John J. Madison University confirms the teacher is alumna Abby Zwinner to think she went to work to educate the future generation to make the world a better place and a student pulled out a gun pointed it at her and shot her all while students heard and saw everything kids that was crying they were just common they were sold on each other Mark Anthony Garcia's son was right next door when the shots rang out around 2 p.m. at Rich Neck Elementary School so what he told me what he can recall was when they I guess when they heard the shot um, the school went on immediate lockdown. Police say a six-year-old student shot his elementary teacher. Her alma mater, James Madison University, identified the teacher as Abby's winner. She's listed as a first grade teacher on the district's website. Chief Steve Drew says the shooting was not accidental and said Friday the six-year-old boy was taken into custody. A hospital spokesperson says the teacher is in stable condition. No students were injured. It could have been prevented if we would have had something in place with security. Garcia says he brought security issues up to the school previously. They have cameras out there, but number one, there was no metal detectors that go through the school. Not only was there no metal detectors, there wasn't a big security presence, security guards there. They have some there, but it's not enough to make sure that these kids are actually safe. Garcia questions why Newport News School District didn't make changes after two separate shootings at other Newport News schools. In September 2021, there was a shooting at Heritage High School. A few months later, there was a shooting in the Menchville High School parking lot. And why didn't the city uh, group this situation of violence in the, from past schools? In the city of Newport News prevents security failures from happening like the Rich Neck shooting due to lack of metal detectors and checking security. I hope that this is a wake up call. Garcia is hoping the district will take the proper steps to address security issues soon for the safety of students and their teachers. Make changes for not only the next six months, but for the next year that these kids can come to school and actually feel safe. The school superintendent says Rich Neck Elementary School will be closed Monday and Tuesday. The Newport News School District is providing resources for teachers and students. In Newport News, I'm Lynn Moss, 10 on your side.